So today um, I am going to walk you through remaking this logo for a church. All right. Um, so I'm going to show you the steps. I decided to do some voiceover today so that you can actually hear what I'm doing as you see what I'm doing. So um, this is the example that we're starting with. And you can see that the primary center of this logo is a tree. So we want to maintain that um, per request, the name of the church and the other words on here. So um, let's get into it. One thing um, I do want you to know is if you go to home on Canva and you type in here, you can actually select a logo and start there or you can um, work with a custom design, meaning you can set the size that you want to work with and export it as you choose to do so. So um, for this, I'm just using a standard 1080 by 1080 and it can be resized for exporting. Now, the first thing we want to do is go to our elements over here and let's see what trees that they have available for us to use. So you can see here some nice options. Uh, we want to be mindful that this is for a logo and not just a graphic. So the type of tree that we choose is going to be really important. You want to make sure that the look of the tree will actually work across multiple prints and designs and maintain its integrity. Um, so something like this actually will work really well um, in a logo. Uh, it, it can be dated. Some people may consider it to be dated, but um, it does work well. Similarly, um, you can have um, a look like these. All right. So let's use a couple of different options here um, and we can see what it ultimately looks like. So here's another option. The upside as well is that you can change the colors. Um, so you could see this church here just had the standard brown and green, which they may like. So we'll want to stick with that. So let's swap out this yellow for an alternative green look. And let's do the orange as well, um, just to make sure that we are keeping a similarity to the original design. All right. Um, the other thing I'm going to do slightly is crop the trunk of the tree because although it's really important, um, you want to leave some options for the words to stand out. All right. Now, this church name is really long. It's First Baptist Church, Port Lavica, which I'm assuming that's why they shortened the FBC. So let's keep it the same um, and make that the primary focus. So let's go over now to um, fonts and let's type out what we want to use here. Make sure we spelled that right, Labaka. Now, this font is one I use often, but I don't think it is good for um, this particular logo. So I'm going to search for corporate fonts here in Canva. And let's try out a couple of these. Um, that's a nice one. And again, you, when designing a, a logo, you want to make sure that it has a very classic, simple look because you may want to print it on t-shirts or business cards. You may, may want to print it on other uh, merch. And so you want to make sure always that the logo um, is nice enough where it's identifiable, but also neutral enough where it works for other projects. Okay. So... This one was really nice. If we wanted to make it stand out a little bit, you can make it bold there. And, let's just... and this is going to be a really simple rework. Center it there. Now, they also wanted to keep these words, loving God, growing together, serving people. Um, so another simple way to do that. 
it's okay lines okay and, and this is just simply to separate the verbiage from the name of the church duplicate that line there okay. keep the same font Consistency in font is really important. Um, just from a visual aesthetic perspective, you do not want to have too many different types of fonts. It becomes distracting from the actual design. And so it's best when you are designing, not just with logos, but with graphics as well, to make sure that there's a continuity, continuity in the fonts that you're using. So the verbiage again here is loving God, serving people, growing together. All right, so let's type that in here. Loving God, serving people, growing together and we just want to adjust this font to make sure that it's there we're going to adjust these lines so that it shows at the end of the verbiage here and canva gives you guides that's the pink lines that you see there which is really nice um, we're going to make this slightly smaller and I'm just going to put some space in between equal spacing in between this um, so that we can make a separation what I'm going to do here is drag in a circle If you want to check the spacing on your design, I recommend uh, zooming in. It allows you to get um, just a little better with the exact alignment. Um, that dot went behind the text, so I'm just going to reposition that text and make sure I can access this here. And there we go. We want to recolor it. It would be nice. Use a color that's already in the design you're going to duplicate that circle so it's the exact same size and we're going to use the canva guide to make sure that it is lined up perfectly all right and here is one example of a rework of this uh, original logo into something new or fresh um, if you wanted to see what it looks like with the other tree you could simply duplicate that delete this tree and bring this one over. This is a way to play with your design a little bit and see what you like best, what suits your style. Um, and so again, you can change the colors in here. Um, you can play with them to make sure that you're getting what you need. And maybe the church wants to incorporate another color into their design, they can do that as well. The other thing that I recommend when you're designing a logo is to use uh, different variations of the logo, um, just again, for print purposes. So what I would do um, here is I would actually group this fonting together. Uh, well, before I do that, because we're gonna do a variation, let's align the text with the lines there. Let's make this slightly bigger so it's aligned a little better there. Now we're gonna group, uh, go bigger to get the dots. Let's start with the dots. You always wanna start when you're grouping with um, the layer that's hardest to reach. So the dots, now this text, each of these lines and that font, and we're gonna group this together. The next thing we're gonna do for a variation is to make that smaller. And we would bring this down and size it up next to the font. That's gonna give you another layout there. So um, again, for printing purposes, if they needed a variation of that logo, you wanna uh, switch it up there. And that's good. Um, again, you aren't losing the integrity of the design, but it's giving you uh, multiple options. So now you want to hit the shift button, align those. You can recenter this as you need it. 
you can resize it if you want to make it a little bit better just for editing purposes and again you can resize this and export it as you uh, choose to and again if you liked maybe the other tree better you can play with it with the different layouts and see what works best for you and that is a quick way to revamp a logo really simple really easy um the other thing i would do here um just for the sake of it is i would probably make this font a little bit bigger um, you just want to make sure that it is aesthetically pleasing um, again these dots are hard to move so I'm gonna move in here alignment is so important visually when you are uh, designing if you do not have the alignment and the proportions um, correct it can begin to look a little uh, sloppy and so you just always want to make sure that you have everything aligned correctly from a sizing perspective And there's a rework and we are done. I am going to show this uh, to the person who was looking for a new revamp and hopefully you enjoyed this particular uh, session of showing you how you can revamp your logo. It's really easy. Canva has some great options. And again, if you don't know where to start freehand, I recommend you going to the home page and typing in logos and it will give you options um, for some templates that you can utilize um, to start from scratch. Just know that when you are utilizing those templates, that more than likely there are other people using them as well. So you may come across other brands that look very similar to yours, which is okay as you're starting off. But if you really want your design to be unique, um, the best thing for you to do is to go in and start from scratch. That is it. And I hope that you have enjoyed this recording. Um, if you're looking for help to learn how you can get better in Canva, I encourage you to go to www.getcreativewithcanva and check out the training that I have available for you. All right. I hope that helps. Have a good one.